Blue YouTube. black person. Sprague, I'm glad to hear you're still black. And thanks for two months of support, man. That's a lot of money, I guess, for a person of color, or is it not? I don't know. But I have a gun that's also a USB drive. So bring it. But I want you to know, I think you are the lowest of the low. I think you are the worst of the worst. I think that there are fucking rapists and Nazis out there who, even though they are rapists and fucking Nazis, they are more redeemable than you because at least they're doing something they fucking believe in. They may be pieces of garbage. They may be pieces of shit. They may harm other people, but at least they believe what they fucking stand for. You stand for nothing. You stand for nothing. Even a disgusting piece of shit rapist is better than you. Even a piece of shit racist garbage Nazi is better than you. You are the worst. And that's what I think. That revel in destruction. These are the people that enjoy destroying people's lives, enjoy destroying individuals, online creators, anybody. These are the people that just play the Joker in real life and want to watch the world burn. I do think these people are worse than Nazis. I do think these people are worse than rapists. I do think these are the worst people that exist in the world. If you don't like me because of that opinion, that's fine. But I can tell you this, fuck those people. I would rather meet a fucking Nazi. I would rather meet a rapist than somebody out there who just enjoys destroying lives because it's their fucking hobby. My opinion, sticking to it. And, uh, yep, yeah, so fuck her. And now she's dead. And Actually, both her. of them are dead. The girl is dead, my mom is dead, everyone I know and love Wait, is dead. Wait, the girl died? How yeah, she died, at, she died at 39 of, like, fucking lung cancer. She had breast cancer, and they beat the breast cancer. But Jesus. then the treatment for the breast cancer gave her lung cancer. Oh, oh my God. God. That sounds yeah. absolutely terrible. Yeah, it was yeah. fucking awful. Yeah. I feel, I'm sorry you had to go through that, bro. That. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. All right. I mean, I didn't go through it. I'm still alive. She's dead. Damn. Oh. <laughs> brutal. Yeah. I'm serious. You know, she like, what do I? What, why do I get to complain? She's the one who has to be dead. You know, fuck. <laughs> wow. Goddamn. I I am a fatally flawed, broken. I am a fatally flawed, broken person. You know, I'm not that different from my mom. I'm not that different from my dad. I've never molested anybody. You know, I didn't beat my kids. I chose not to have kids, so I wouldn't do those things. But does that make does that mean I'm any better than my mother? Does it mean I'm any better than my father? Probably not. Um, and so the third book was on the Holocaust. I don't remember the name of it. And so I'm reading the book, and here's something I found fascinating in this book. It's so fucking depressing, this book. But they were talking about the Japanese experiments. Are you familiar with the Japanese experiments where they were like vivisecting? The water purification men? facility in Manchu? I don't remember that. I do yeah, remember I do. the vivisection. I yeah. do remember them uh, doing open-heart surgeries on people that didn't need open-heart surgeries, like some really crazy shit. Mm-hmm. And so what I found out from this book is a lot of Nazi scientists and doctors were gr- given asylum in the United States in exchange for the knowledge they had possessed. I didn't know that. You know, but uh, if you think about it, a lot of a lot of some good came from all of that in that health science was was advanced many, many years. And that's one of the things that kind of made me have the mentality that I have. Nothing is black and white. The Holocaust is horrible, absolutely horrible. But some good came out of it. <laughs> you gotta look for that silver. Oh, so <laughs> I only block people who call me names. And and if you can prove to me, if you can prove to me, if it's that not the, the reason I blocked you, if you called me no names this summer. If you can prove to me you showed me no names this summer, I will literally take Sam to the pound. Just a gorilla. I will literally take him to the pound and find him a new home. I swear. Please don't I do that. Not, what? Yeah, please don't do that. What? We love animals too much. I will find, no, I'm saying I will find him a new home. I will find him no, a new home. No, keep your dog. Uh, no. Keep your dog, what? please. I want, you, I want you to keep your dog. You, you, yeah. We took their land and we didn't pay them. And then we didn't even say please. And don't forget that we also try to barter for their land but they had no concept of ownership so they're like we want to move back there and we're like you can't because we gave you that box of beads yeah but you're just wanting to borrow the land right because you can't own land ha 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 get on your shitty reservation and then we marched them through the march of tears and most of the children died and the adults died also and the old folks died and most of them 
No, I never was. I'm, I'm not capable of doing those things. It's just not a thing I can really do. But whatever. That's fine. Whatever. Um, was me and my wife's relationship perfect? No. Did we argue from time to time? Yes. I think most couples do. Did I ever stand and scream in her face about fucking, you know, tell her she was, I wish she was fucking dead? Or, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, wait. Before you swipe up with me, I, I just want to say something. Good luck in 2019, you know. 2018 was really hard. And so am I. Obvious truth that I would never verbally or emotionally or physically assault anybody. If you're stupid enough to think that of me, then I can't help how stupid you are. Like, you can't, you can't, hmm. you can't, you can't teach physics to a dog. And if you're someone stupid enough to think I would ever verbally assault somebody, I can't teach you physics, <laughs> you know. Like, you're just going to have to believe what you believe, you know? Five minutes later. What I'm saying is there are people out there, little assholes, little douchebags, little dickheads, little cunts, little shit faces, little fucking whatever the fuck you want to call them. Um, and, and they fucking little pricks, little fucking ball sacks, little scrotal faced pieces of shit, whatever you want to apply to them. Okay, if I'm objectively attractive and you're bi curious, then what the fuck am I doing in this car right now? Well, I'm, <laughs> you're not subjectively attracted to me because you're like a son to me. Yeah, but you also were talking earlier. Today. Well, I to fuck my son. <laughs> so you can't star, tell him what I'm saying. Children, no, that's what the internet <laughs> thinks I want to do. I obviously don't want to have sex with my children. You told me in private. <laughs> what are you talking about? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Were you telling stories out of school? Now? I'm in character. I'm sorry. I'm Apparently, in Jesus I, I can't Christ. Be one for me and one for the hooker. One for me and one for the hooker. Welcome one to the 